Now this last part of the question I feel is quite tricky and in order to do it I really do believe you've got to draw a sketch for the situation that we've got here. And what I've done is I've updated my sketch from the earlier parts. We've got um, the part point A that we found in the very first part it had coordinates P4. We showed that P was 19 over 2 and so the coordinates of A 19 over 2, 4. We also found out that the length of CD in a previous part was 3 over 2 root 5. Now we're told that a point B lies on the line L1 and the length of AB is the square root of 80. Now where is B going to be along L1? Well, we get a bit of a clue here because root 80, they've been a bit crafty here I think, we've been working with root 5 for lengths just in the, an earlier part and I can see that root 80 can be broken down. Now we'll just put it down at here first of all, AB okay, equals root 80. Root 80 is exactly the same as the square root of 16 times 5. And that can be taken as the square root of 16, which we know is 4. And then we've got just root 5. 4 root 5 then for the distance AB. So if this distance is 1 and a half root 5, 3 over 2 root 5, 1 and a half root 5, then 4 root 5 is going to have to be, well, a bit longer than that, isn't it? So I'm just going to put B somewhere down here. Let's just say it's about here, okay? Give us a bit of room as well. So that's where B is, on L1, and we know that this distance is root 80. But I'm going to think, well, I'll write it in as root 80, but when it comes to doing some calculations, I'm going to use 4 root 5 instead. Now we're told that the point E lies on L2 such that the length of the line CDE, okay, CDE, we've got to have E down here because it's going in that order, CDE, it's three times the length of CD. Well, here's the length CD, and if we make it three times that length, we go one, two would take us to about there, three would take us to, say, here, okay? Let's put this point in then as the point E. So we know that this length here CD was 3 over 2 root 5 so we've got 1 there, 2, 3 so this must be twice, that's DE must be twice this length so if I multiply this by 2 I know that the distance DE let's just write it here, the distance DE must be equal to just twice this which would be 3 root 5. Now we've got to find the area of the quadrilateral ACBE so let's just join that up. We've got A to C which is a horizontal line, C to B and then B to E and then E back to A. So if we're finding the area of this quadrilateral, what I notice is that I've got two triangles. Okay, if I draw that line along there, I've got the triangle ACB and the triangle ABE. And I can work each of those areas out because I can take AB as being the base for both of those triangles and I've got the heights. That's the distance CD and the distance DE. I've got those heights because I know that L2 is perpendicular to L1. So that's where we're going with this problem. So if we just carry on down here, we can say that area of, let's just work with this triangle, ACB, ACB. It's going to equal half the base which is the distance AB, root 80, but I did say that I would use 4 root 5 instead, so we're going to have half multiplied by 4 
root 5, half the base, and now we multiply it by the height, the distance CD, and we've got that up here. It's 3 root 5 over 2, or 3 over 2 root 5, up to you how you write it. I write it as 3 over 2 root 5. Now we can clean this up. We've got these two 2's here give us 4, and that will cancel out into that 4 there. So I'm going to just cancel those out. That goes once. That leaves me with 3 multiplied by root 5 and root 5. Well, root 5 times root 5 is 5, and 3 times 5 is going to be 15. Alright, so we've got the area then of triangle ACB. Now we've got to move on to the area of triangle ABE. So we'll put that as an intro, area of triangle ABE. And if we're doing that one, we're going to have half the base, the base being root 80, which I'm taking as 4 root 5 again, 4 root 5, and we're multiplying that by the height DE. And DE, we worked out here, was 3 root 5. So again, we can clean this up. We can see that the 2 here goes into the 4 twice, and we've got 2 times 3, which is 6, and root 5 times root 5, which is 5, so 6 5's are 30. So I've got an area here equaling 30. So when it comes to the total area, I can say that therefore the area of the quadrilateral ACBE is going to be the sum of those two areas, 15 plus 30. In other words, an area of 45. Being an area though, I think I'd like to write units squared, but it's not really going to matter if you left that off. But there you go, the area. Quite a tricky question, but again I do believe that a diagram in these kind of coordinate geometry questions is just so essential.